Hello there guys and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 2 University Season 2 Part 2. That's a really long title, I should probably find a way to shorten that. Um, anyway, this is a familiar looking screen for us, I just had to change Curious's um, major because the last one was a custom major that I added into my game a long long time ago, so I found out that I just had to remove that and now she can actually do the art major. So I'm just gonna go ahead and read this off, so it says, Art, the study of visual forms. What better pursuit than to devote one's life to the pursuit of the beautiful or thought-provoking? While the disciplines are diverse indeed, all artists are brought together with one goal, creation. So yes, now she is an art major and we don't have to worry about that. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to skip to morning because our sims aren't really going to do anything at 9 o'clock. There's nothing too interesting we can do at this point. So I'm going to skip to morning and I will see you guys. Okay, so it seems like the first person who's going to be getting up here is Spencer. We're just going to fast forward until she wakes herself up because I do want her to get that full night's sleep, although now I just think she's oversleeping. There we go. We're just going to make the bed, have her go use the bathroom, do the usual morning routine, get her breakfast because she's going to start getting ready for class. I didn't actually go through their classes and read the things, so see, of course, now that I know, her class is at 4 p.m., so we can now start kind of working out our sim schedules and when they should be going to sleep and when they shouldn't and all that fun stuff which actually isn't that fun because college is boring but the sims somehow made it amusing right right um yeah i'm just gonna go through all of their majors now that they're all up and doing their own thing oh look they really are all up hey you two just talking just chilling cool um so what we have over here is the art major i already read that but i like a, that this game what i like about this game is what i meant to say is that each time your sim, I guess, goes up a grade or through a midterm or whatever, they get different course names and a lot of them are usually very entertaining to read. So she is a freshman. It usually tells you your sim's GPA here and it says stick figures lowering the bar. And so she has that from 2 to 4 p.m. Um, over here we have Ignis and her class is how to judge a book by its cover, which is funny because usually people say not to judge a book by its cover, and yet she's a literature major and that's what they call that. Him, he has the world, a survey of everything that ever happened. That's great. That's really great. Um, re remedial edition, the fingers and toes technique. Don't know why he's taking remedial if he's a math major, but okay. And then introduction to psychology, we are two a science. So that's interesting. All of my sims, what I wanted to have them do in this part is really get to know first off the people who will be staying in the storm with us and to get these little skills going up because before we know it, 49 hours till our midterms, that comes out really fast so we have to be super duper prepared for when that happens. So this is going to be tricky balancing a social life and also working on what needs to get done. So speaking of what needs to get done, video games are not that. How are your things doing? You just have to go eat breakfast. Okay, well then let's have you go do that. Go eat this. And thank you for the person who told me that we had to get a different stove for the chef to actually show up. Otherwise, my sims would have probably gone out with meals this entire LP and then they probably would have died. So thank you. Um, let's see, what does she need? She should go use the bathroom before she goes to eat breakfast. So go use the bathroom. I'm gonna have her take a shower anyway, just so she could be super duper clean. Come over here, eat something as well. The boys can do the same. So I'm just gonna cue all of this in now. So I think I had her go to the wrong shower. So I'm gonna have to fix that. This is the women's showers. And then eat. And what is he doing? He just needs to use the bathroom now. Is he still sleeping? No, he's not still sleeping. Okay, go use the stall that's not haunted. <laughs> so use this stall over here. And it looks like someone left out their assignment. Is this any of our sims? No, it's not. And what I found out recently is that Spencer really likes pool. Because earlier today, look, everyone really likes this pool table. I think this is going to end up being quite troublesome. I could see it now. My sims doing this instead of doing their assignments. But let's see, does anyone go to class this morning? No, it doesn't seem like it. So what we're going to do this morning is have them all go go study because it seems like all their roommates are asleep anyway and we're not going to be able to really talk to them. So she needs to learn some mechanical. What she needs to do is learn some logic. So we'll go to the roof and have her 
go look out a telescope. Let's hope it doesn't turn to nighttime and she gets abducted by aliens. And then we forget and then she ends up pregnant. Although young adults can end up pregnant, can they? I don't really know. Someone tell me if they do or not. Um, what are we going to have him do? Ah, he's going to study cooking. Because at least then he can make himself some food. That's the slacker mindset. It's like, what's actually going to benefit me? I can learn how to cook a little bit. Why not? Why not? I mean, if I have to, I'll do what I want to do. So after he's done with this, we'll have him go study some of that. What does he need? He needs to work on some body skill, which I don't understand. Why on earth would you need that for math? We'll have him work out down here. And I think everyone's going to be doing something except for her. But she can work out too. They can work out together. Cool. So get on over here, Spencer. And get on to doing exercise. I know, I know it's exercise. No one wants to do it. But it's gotta get done. So let's go. Actually, what I want to do... Let me see real quick. I want to go here and see if we can buy some of those little exercise bikes. Where can I put these? I don't think we have an open space to really put them. But I used to have them randomly around the place when my sims were in university the last time. So I'll just have some like randomly lying around the middle of the hallway so that they can do exercise there. And it seems like she doesn't want to use the TV anyway. So go over here, do your exercise. You can also join her in that exercise activity. So work out. Hopefully they're both going to do that. And yeah, our sims are just going to get to work, which is good because... I don't want them to fail out of college. Especially, again, I'm, I have to mention this multiple times. It's five sims. That's gonna kill me. It's probably gonna, like, lead me to my grave. But everyone's already getting their skills, which is really nice. She She's done. She doesn't have to stress out about that anymore. You can actually go greet your roommates. Um, what are you doing? You're, did you get the logic skill already? No, not yet, but I think she's probably gonna get it soon. You can stop learning how to cook. It's no longer necessary. You don't need the body skill anymore. And you um, already got your body skill as well. So no need to worry about that. What I think is going to come in really, really handy is if we have them all write their term papers. <laughs> and I know that's not the most interesting thing to watch. But we got to have them get that done. It needs to happen. So real quick, let's just look at the pictures of the people who live here. We have this girl over here. I wish it would tell us their names above the door, but I've seen her around a lot. This is Spencer. I know his name because he has the same name as Spencer. Don't know her name. Don't know his name. So I'm gonna have to wait till he comes out. Wait till this chick comes out. Who are you? You are Waylon Cho. Alright. Um, who else is here? Oh, we have one of these! The mascots! Cool. Oh, he's just gonna irritate us the whole time while we're trying to do stuff though, isn't he? Ew, it's not fun. Alright, so I'm just gonna have her start writing her term paper. Oh, he was gonna talk to her. I shouldn't have interrupted. I should have seen what he was gonna do. But here we go. We're just gonna do this. Why are you in here? What are you doing? Oh! The mascot- is the mascot a boy or a girl? I don't- I can't tell. But he was not accepting that compliment, so we're gonna actually- we're gonna, um, he's gonna talk about games. He likes games. Let's do that. Hey, so uh, what do you think about video games, bro? Nope. Oh, they're not getting along. See, no. <sighs> That's it. Hey, Llama, uh, I have a question for you. Do you want some water? Do you want water? Mm, I guess not. Doesn't look like he liked that. <laughs> Irritate. Annoy. Yeah, you tell him, bro. Oh, stop cheering. We do not want to watch you cheer. But now Curious has class, so we'll stop. have her stop writing to her paper. Although she's getting that done fast. Like, dang. Usually it takes him multiple hours long to do that kind of stuff. That's cool. We gotta move out of the way so she can get out of her chair. And I feel like there is a nice little thing rising over here. Don't slap him. Not right now. We don't have the time for this. Put away some books. They're in our way. Be useful. Do something. <laughs> That's not fight with others. Even though I guess I kind of am the one who cued it in. But it still gives us some drama to be entertained by. 
So she's going to she's going to class in her pajamas. Like no, go change into your everyday wear, then go to class. Whoa, I know that's crazy, but still. Get it done, girl. Get it done. Alright, and I can't wait for these people to get back from class already because it feels empty and we're having all of our sims disappear to class. Are you already back? Oh, she never left. <laughs> oh, Spencer, I'm so sorry I forgot about you. But let's have you, since you're a little nerd, go and... Um, where's college? Right, turn paper. You're not gonna... You're not gonna chat with whoever this is. Who's your son? Yusin. Who's Yusin? Do we already know them? Or... Probably not, because we know too many people. It's gonna take us too long to go through this. Um... Yeah, I don't know any of these people, so it's fine. Who cares enough? Okay, so do your assignment, honey boo. Look at the old family. Aw, can we look at the family tree for a second? Look at Aiden. Still haven't aged him because I'm a horrible person. <laughs> And Nikki and John. Mm. And speaking of family trees, since you guys don't actually know what family it is that the O'Briens come from, let me just show you real quick. She's actually expecting the mother another child, but she has Jason, um, Caden, and their younger sister, Melinda. So that's their family. And their father's name is Martin. So yeah, that's their family. And she's just gonna right away, hopefully... You know what, she's actually gonna start class soon, but we'll let her do what she can in that time. Everyone's gonna be at class! <laughs> Why? Why? Yeah, see, now she's gotta go to class, so I'll have her stop writing the paper. But it's good because now Ignis and uh, Kaden are back. So let's have them talk a little bit. We're gonna entertain him with a joke. Because they are friends, or they're not friends. God, what? All right, well, I guess we can do that. Entertain him with a joke, hang out a bit. Because look at this, she's doing good in school anyway. Someone said, let the ship games begin in the comments, and I could not agree more. <laughs> Let's just say that. Okay, um, are any of our other sims going to be coming home soon? Let's see, he comes home in two sim hours and then she comes home soon okay good good i'm gonna have her finish writing that term paper because she really needs it look how bad her class average is right now Ugh. is it gonna go up after class yes it did oh that's good so i'm gonna have her come back over here and continue writing her term paper um kaden you guys can just sit out here and hang out all right and spencer did you go to class spencer Go to class! Oh! Move out of the way! Why won't you go to class? Go to class. Oh my god. Go to class. He's not in the way now. Go. He's not in the way! Oh my god, Sims, I swear to god. I s- oh. Ah! She's pretty- she shouldn't even go to class anymore. College, go to class. Really? Hang out with Ignis. Go go hang out. Go sit back down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, that's it. That's it. I'm gonna slap you in the face. Mm hmm. We wanted to do it before and I stopped him, but you, if you're gonna come up now and try to do this, I'm gonna attack you. That's it. I'm done. And meanwhile, Ignis is just like, um. What is going on? Oh, and she's like, whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing? I know they're best friends, but she's like, um, okay. Um, well, this is great. I'm surprised other people who are here aren't coming outside to check out what's going on. Because usually this is like the first thing come on. <gasps> Ooh, bro, you just got your butt beat. We are going to ask you to leave. You're leaving. You are leaving our home lot. Mm mm. Not cool. Not cool. But Spencer's probably doing terrible in school right now. I feel. Oh! I think she's actually doing the best out of everyone. Okay, no. Ignis is doing the best, but she's doing second best. But at least Ignis is congratulating her. That's really nice of her. I can see these two becoming good friends. 
So let's have them entertain with the joke. We're going to talk, hang out, and then we can actually ask the others to join so they can all hang out together. Because all of them seem like they have relationships that they need to improve. So hang out on the ground. Let's invite you on over here, so hang out. I'll have you hang out as well. And then you can hang out. I hopefully you can have this many sims hang out. I'm pretty sure you can. So here we go. They're just coming out and joining. Oh, and it's that chick from the sorority that I gave a makeover. Who the heck are you? Um, okay then. But you know, it's 7 o'clock. This seems like the best time to just sit down and hang out. <laughs> Even though this is probably the most awkward layout, they pretty much just shut Spencer out of the conversation. This is fine. I don't have a problem with this. And even though Curious is stinky, I'm pretty sure Curious is like one of those people who's probably against showers. I can see it. But there they all go, talking about their studies. Alright, so of course she has the best relationship with her sister. She's friends with Kaden. I don't think she even has a relationship with Spencer. Nope. She just knows who Spencer is. We're gonna have to fix that. And then let's see. Who else is good friends? She's pretty much friends with everyone. Look at you go, Ignis. You're, you really are a little Miss Popularity. Um, she's like, yeah, see you guys. I need to go shower. <laughs> And, alright, he has actually a w better relationship with Spencer and Ignis than he does with Caden. That's interesting. And I guess- oh no, it doesn't go the same the other way. Yeah, he feels, I guess, a little better about his brother than the others. But, see, he's kind of like Ignis in the sense that he has a lot of friends. Like, he's friends with mostly all of them. So that's really nice to see. All right, little missy, please tell me you're gonna go shower because you smell nasty. You can pay those bills, by the way. I don't know why we have bills, but okay. Um, go take a shower, go use the bathroom, get yourself some dinner from the chef, go eat, and then I'll have her go to bed because um, she can just do her assignment in the morning before class starts. And I think I'm gonna do the same with all the other Sims. We're probably gonna end this soon. Or just about here. Let's see. I feel like these three are probably going to be the closest friends. The other two are probably going to find their own way here at the university. But you know what, guys? Leave your opinions down below as to what you think they all are and, like, their personalities. How do you guys see them? Like, how are they in your eyes? Because I'm interested to know what you guys feel about that. But anyway, I'm going to end it here. I'm just going to have my sims all get themselves cleaned up and stuff. Um... So yeah, again, leave your suggestions down below because I want to see what you guys have to say as well as hints and tips and all that fun stuff. And goodbye, guys.